Welcome to Journey of One. This is a show where I travel around Southern California, check out fun events and interesting places to see. Thanks for watching. Let's begin the journey. On this week's journey, I head back to Miracle Mile in Los Angeles to visit the Peterson Automotive Museum. Just last year, the museum was renovated, including the addition of this intriguing outside building design that reminded me of the old hot rod flame designs along the sides of their cars. Before you even enter the museum, they have a couple car exhibits right there in the parking lot. As you enter the museum lobby, you come across a slew of interesting cars, including this $2.5 million Bugatti Chiron. The staff recommends starting your visit on the third floor of the museum, which is the history floor, featuring cars and car culture throughout the time that they've existed. It's interesting to see what the first cars that were invented look like, and how they operated compared to today's modern cars. They were so much simpler, and it appears like they weren't much more than a seat, wheels, and a simple engine. But nonetheless, they changed the way transportation worked forever. Also on the history floor, they have many classic cars from Hollywood movies throughout the years. I was digging this tricked out Bond car with all its weapons and gadgets bolted on. While there were lots of cool movie cars there, I think the piece de resistance was the DeLorean from the original Back to the Future movie, complete with the flux capacitor and date machine still operational. It was super cool to see the actual DeLorean up close. Although a very close second was seeing the Batmobile from the Michael Keaton Batman movies in all its ridiculous glory. But if you're more of an Adam West fan, they did have his Bat Cycle and Sidecar there too. In between many of the cars on display were these light box cases that showed classic car advertisements and cultural items associated alongside. I think many of these old cars had such incredible class and designs that still shame most of today's automobiles. There were also many historical and modern motorcycles in the museum. I totally want to take this one out for a ride. I always love the concept cars the auto companies show off, sometimes more than the actual production models, and they have a few unique past ones here on display. Before you leave this floor, make sure not to miss this amazing mural recreation of Los Angeles and its roads and highways. After I'd finished with the history floor, I took the stairs down to the industry floor on the second level. On this floor, they have a lot more interactive exhibits that let you get a more hands-on and unique look at the automobiles. I was stoked to find out they had set up an arcade-like video game area where you could sit in a racing-style chair and play Xbox Forza racing game. Just a heads up, it was not as easy as when you play at home. They also had a large section and many displays set up showing how the cars are made, how they are designed, from the drafting and clay model stages to putting together all the different parts of a car, all the way up to a finished one. It's fascinating to see it step by step, and you can appreciate the complexity of modern cars, especially after seeing all the old historical ones just a floor above. If you have kids along with you, they have a special Disney and Pixar Cars themed Mechanical Institute area where the different elements of a car are broken down into easier terms, which I personally found very helpful.
Also on this floor were special exhibits showing off some of the cool things people have done with their cars, like this set of silver painted sports and exotic cars. One of my favorite areas was seeing this hot rods and custom cars area where people had tricked their cars out in every conceivable way, including the underneath parts. And these old hot rods are by far the coolest cars in the museum in my opinion. If I could take any home, it'd be one of these bad boys. They also had a special display of the new Ford 2017 GT with its radical and gorgeous design that looked like it came from the future. Heading down to the first floor brought me to the museum's featured exhibition which showed off the art and history of the Bugatti family and car company. While most people, like myself, are only familiar with the recent Bugattis and their record-setting speed and price tags, it was interesting to see that their style was always unique and quite beautiful. There was also a lot of sculptures, artwork, and even furniture that stood out on their own rights. Also on the first floor was this exhibit of BMW cars with unique paint jobs done over the years. If you visit, know that the main museum is only half of what there is to see. Underground they have The Vault, a special collection of a couple hundred of the rarest and most unique and valuable cars in the world. Cameras aren't allowed down there so you'll have to go see for yourself. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment letting me know what you think of the video. Visit journeyofone.com for more videos, bonus content, and see what's coming up next on future videos. See you next week as I go on another Journey of One.